There's a hero feels like I'm gonna die and sometimes it feels like I'm in a dream and like things aren't real, you know? I'm so sorry, Aurora. That sounds awful. It, it sounds like these might be panic attacks. Panic attacks might feel very uncomfortable, but they're not dangerous. How often do you experience them? Whenever I'm in a small room or a tight space, like a closet or an elevator. It sounds like you might be experiencing claustrophobia, a fear of tight spaces. Um, I'll need to keep evaluating to find out more, but I imagine that this really gets in the way of your life. This claustrophobia, it's making it hard for me to stay with the X-Men. How so? Last month we were pursuing Dr. Doom, a villain. He encapsulated me in chrome. I panicked. I caused a storm so bad, my friends nearly died. That sounds terrifying. I am so sorry, Aruro. I, I can see how much this is affecting you. Do you know how it got started? The, the claustrophobia, I mean? In my childhood, I must have been five. Uh, my parents and I were living in Egypt and this plane crashed into our house and my parents didn't make it. And I, it took me three days to get out. Oh, I'm so sorry, Araro, that's awful. I feel so broken, you know? Logan, Cyclops, Beast, they've all been through stuff too, but it doesn't affect them the way this affects me. You know, we don't always see the way that other people's tragedies affect them. But it makes sense to me that situations such as what happened to you would have a long-lasting impact. That doesn't make you broken, that makes you a survivor. And I imagine coming in today took a lot of strength and courage. Thank you. I'm ready to put this behind me. I want to get better. I know it won't be easy, but I'm ready. That's fantastic. I am really glad to hear that. So I think the first thing we should do is work on reducing your sensitivity to anxiety symptoms. What do you mean? We're going to practice experiencing symptoms of panic attacks in a safe way so that you get used to them. This way, if you ever experience these symptoms in the future, they don't have to intimidate you or hold you back. Okay, I'm ready. Great. So we're going to practice feeling out of breath on purpose. So first, we're going to practice running in place. Okay, you can stop. So how are you feeling? Uh, out of breath. A little lightheaded. A little sweaty. But okay. Great. Okay. What's your anxiety? One to ten. A three. Not too bad. Let's make it a little bit more challenging now. So now we're going to practice hyperventilating, okay? So we're going to breathe quickly and shallowly on purpose to make you used to these symptoms. Okay, I'm ready. So how are you feeling right now? Definitely out of breath. I feel my heart beating fast. Uh, I'm feeling lightheaded, but I'm okay. Great. I'm proud of you for your willingness to try out these exercises. What's your anxiety level right now? 
It went up to a 5 out of 10 briefly while I was hyperventilating, but now it's about a 1. Isn't that interesting? It seems that the more willing we are to experience something, the more tolerable it becomes. Are you ready for your next challenge? Ready. You want me to get on an elevator? Only if you're willing. I, I don't think I'm ready. That's fine. I would never make you do anything you're unwilling to do or anything you're not ready for. I'm scared, but I want to try it. Okay. What makes you want to try it? What would it be for? So that I can face my fear and protect the X-Men. Okay. So on a scale of 1 to 10, What's your anxiety level right now? A nine. Okay. And on a scale of one to 10, how willing are you to do this exercise if it means learning how to manage your anxiety? A 10. My fear is strong, but my commitment is stronger. Okay. I'll be with you every step of the way. I don't think I can do this. Remember what it's for. Okay. I can't. Uh, I can't do this. I need to get out. Okay. Well, <clears throat> what's your anxiety level right now? Like a hundred. Okay. Look at me. Take a breath. Good. Now notice the sensation of your feet. Okay. Where are your feet right now? On the ground. Right now? Are you safe? Yes. What's your anxiety level right now? A seven. Okay. Is this tolerable? Yes. Would you be willing to try it again? I don't want to, but it's important, and I'm willing. Okay. Okay. I'm an eight, but I'm breathing. My feet are on the ground, and I'm safe. Great job. How are you feeling? Better. Very proud of you. Would you be willing to do it again? Yes. How are you feeling, Aurora? Tired, but better than I felt in a long time. Thanks, Doc. You're very welcome, and keep practicing. I will. See you next week. See you then. If I see myself in my heroes, can they see themselves in me?